Alexia and today I wanted to show you guys how I created this dark smoky eye beautiful glam half cut crease do it for anything type of look I don't know <laughs> I thought it would be a really really good eye look for like any parties coming up or like Thanksgiving something that you want to be really glam for also I thought it would be a really good eye look that you could do for like any Halloween look if you want your eyes to be really pretty and really glam and then like kind of do like a half skull or something like that. so if you guys wanted to see how I created this half cut crease a very glam eye please keep on watching Alright, as you guys can see, I already did one eye off camera, and I put lashes on and did everything, so I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So I'm using the Morphe 533 brush, and what palette I'm going to be using today is the Jaclyn Hill palette is already freaking dirty. Oh my god. I'm going to be using the name guide, so I'm just going to be telling you each name of the shade that I'm using. So first I'm going in with, with Silk Cream and I am just going to be putting this in my crease for the transition color. Alright, and then the second color I'm going to be using is Cream Sickle on the same brush and I'm putting it also in my crease. Just kind of making it a darker yellowy orange shade alright and then I'm going to switch brushes just to a little bit smaller more defined brush it's still a blending brush but it's just not as um, fluffy and this is the Morphe M535 and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Pukey and also putting that in my crease. Alright, and with the same brush, I'm just going to be going into the shade Roxanne. Yeah, Roxanne. And also building that in the crease. And I'm just doing the kind of like the same thing with every single shade. I'm just putting it in my crease in windshield wiper motions and then I'm just blending it out in circular motions. So all the other shades blend nicely together. I'm going in the shade Jax. Alright, and then after that I'm switching brushes again to a smaller defined brush because we're going to be going in with darker colors now and this is the M506 and I'm going in with into the shade Chip. So what I'm going to be doing with this is just kind of doing the same thing, building it up in the crease but then I'm also going to be bringing it onto the lip a little bit. So I'm going into the crease and we're going to be taking this low at first but we're going to build it up. Then I'm going to be taking the original brush I used, which is the M533, and then I'm just going to take it and blend over everything to make everything nice and blended gradiently. And the last color I'm going to be using is Soda Pop. And this is the darkest shade that we're going to be using. It's almost a black, but not quite. I don't really know. It's just a really dark color. And I'm also building that in my crease and also right on the outer corner. So we're just pressing the color on right now. We're kind of just packing it on first before we blend into the crease. circular motions now very very lightly we're not using like a heavy hand or anything we always want to go very light with the eyeshadow we don't want to make anything too harsh we don't want to have any harsh lines so after that I'm just taking the M533 brush again 
and blending all of that together. All right, I'm taking soda pop again and packing it on the outer corner because this is the part where we kind of want it to be the darkest. We don't want any creases or anything like that. So we're just building that up on the outer corner. And with this brush, I'm using a really, really light handle. Like I'm barely even touching my eyeshadow. We just really want a nice blend. Like I said a billion times by now, like we just want a nice blend. So just listen to me. Okay. So we're going to be doing a half cut crease and I'm using the M224 and also I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. And then I'm going to be using the shade Silk Cream and I'm going to be packing this on to my lid. And then I'm going to go back in with the M506 brush and I'm going to be taking the color Soda Pop and just packing that on the outer corner once again, blending everything together nicely. So we're going to be patting that pressing it onto the outer corner and kind of slowly blending in the two shades together. Alright, and that is all you do with the eyeshadow. And then for the glitter, we are taking the Revlon Photo Ready, or sorry, uh, yeah, Revlon Photo Ready <laughs> IR. So this is just glitter and this is in the shade burnished bling and we're just going to be taking a very small amount of it on the tip of this and just bringing it across the crease and the lashes that I'm going to be using today are flutter lashes and intoxicating they're beautiful they're my favorite lashes That is how you do the eyes. I feel like this eye that I did on camera is like 10 times better than the eye that I did off camera. But whatever. At least the eye that I did on camera is better so you guys can get the better representation of how I do it. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm going to be using the MAC Oil Control Lotion putting that in my t-zone because that's where I get the oiliest and then I'm going in with the natural radiance primer from MAC and I am going to be putting this everywhere else so just like right there I can't find my beauty blender I had my beauty blender like wrapped up in this Under my chair, of course, is trying to run away from me. Okay, taking my beauty blender, I'm pretty sure I got this from like Mandy Cosmetics or something like that, I don't know. Um, all right, and I'm gonna be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NC30, and I'm just going to be dabbing that all over the face. You always wanna make sure that you blend it down to your neck so you don't have any harsh lines or anything like that. And we're just going to be putting a little bit more on the forehead. It's got a big forehead, girl. Like, oh, just dropped it. Oh well. Always make sure you get into your hairline. You don't want your hairline to be a different color than your face. Now what we're going to be doing next is going in with a Tarte Shape Tape. This is a really, really light shade for me, but this is the only one I have right now because my other one is like pretty much run out. So this is in the shade Fair Neutral. Alright, and what we're going to be going in with next is the Airspun Translucent Powder. 
and we're going to be putting that on the under eyes on my nose and my forehead and then I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Face Powder and I'm going to be putting that on the rest of my face and now we're going to go kind of kind of jumping around a little bit I always do it like this I do the eyes first foundation set it and then I go on my under eye and I'm going to be going in with the color pukey and then next we're going in with the shade Roxanne I'm kind of mixing it with Jax just mixing those two together and then we're going in with well, and then we're going in with the shade Soda Pop, and we're just kind of putting that on the outer corner. That's the eyes. Aha! Uh -huh, turn up! Yay! Okay. Alright, and now we're going to go and continue on the face. So what I'm doing next is I'm going to contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This, like literally I've had this for like a couple years now so it's really raggedy and half of the shades are gone. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to be taking the Beauty Blender and the Airspun Translucent Powder and contouring that so we're just going to be kind of like defining the contour even more and we're just going to be going in on the forehead we're going to be going in with the same shade on the forehead and just pretty much all around the face to bronze it up and make it have more definition more contour uh, yeah so then we're going to be just taking the brush and wiping away the translucent powder. So now what's next is I'm going to be going in with the Milani powder blush. And I'm just going to be taking this brush that I got from Ipsy. It's the um, Lisa Frank brush. It's super cute. I love this brush. And we're just going to be putting that on the, ap the, 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 the apples of my cheeks. Talking too fast. So I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite highlight combination so far in the world today, 2017 highlight life. I'm going to be going in with this random blending brush and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Trophy Life highlight. I freaking love it. It's like, can you tell? Can you tell? Anyways. So I put this on first, and yes, it is too yellow for me, too golden for me, but you'll see what I do. Okay, so if you really want this highlight and want like a super, super blinding highlight, then I recommend this method. So first I go in with the Fenty Beauty, and then on top of that I use the Moonchild Glow Kit. And then I go in with the Pink Heart shade right there. And it like literally kind of like cancels out all of like the yellow and it kind of just looks really freaking beautiful and glowy so this is what I do and I don't even like care I just go in with it even though it's yellow it don't matter girl it don't matter I just watch and learn take the same brush I dip into pink heart in the moon child glow kit and I just put it right on top of it <laughs> all right so that's the highlight everything la, 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 la. And what we have at last is just the lips. Super simple. I just like a nude lip for like any like dark kind of look. So this is Truffle Tease from Maybelline. <laughs> it's just a nude lipstick. I'm going in with a MAC Lip Gloss in Myth.
watching this tutorial. If you guys liked how this turned out, please give me a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Please turn on my post notifications so you can get notified whenever I post any makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Love ya. Ah.